So just start whenever? You can start whenever. Okay. <laughs> why, do every, why does everybody in America think Obama was such a bad president? I mean, everybody looks at the bad things, and everybody looks at all the things he might have done wrong, but no one looks at the good things. And let me just start off by saying that there's been way worse presidents than Obama that have almost ruined this country. Um, and ruin this country, especially in debt. And a lot of people think the debt crisis is all Obama's fault, but really it's not all Obama's fault. We've been, the United States have been in debt since 1789 when the Constitution went into play. So the debt's just been building up over the past 200 years. So, I mean, and the money he's spending that's putting us in debt is helping us also. He's spending the money on the important things that are making our, um, the United States a better place to live for all of us. And economists feel as if that debt is a good thing for the economy. It keeps the economy flowing, so people are spending money and losing money, and it just keeps the cycle going. So that's actually helping the economy. So debt is not such a bad thing. And if we try to pay off all our debt, which is right now at $13.6 billion, the government will become broke. And when a government becomes broke, everybody loses their money in their banks and, and the government collapses and then that'd be the end of the United States. So we really don't want to pay off all our debt right now. So Obama is spending all this money to make our lives easier to live. And then people get mad about the decisions that Obama makes, but he, but he's the president, and the president's job is to make decisions and to order people to do them. So I don't understand, like, when he passes an executive order that people don't like, they don't understand that he's trying to help this country and that it's his job to pass the orders that he thinks will help this country. While in office, he has passed a total of 226 orders not right now. <laughs> over the past eight years. And that doesn't seem like a lot over eight years, but it means that he passes about one order every 13 days. Which, and orders take a lot of planning and important research and everything that goes into an executive order is, there's a lot of stuff. So passing one every 13 days is actually a lot. So 226 was a lot for him. The decisions he makes helps our country, and it helps everybody in this country succeed more. And one of Obama's biggest decisions was to bring out Obamacare. Obamacare is an organization, organization set up by the government, not right now, please, <laughs> to help people in low-income households have health care. It's not giving out free health care, it's just helping them get health care. So, I mean, they're just using your, not right now, <laughs> they're just using your money to help people. And it's changed the lives of many people. Um, over the l last year, it's given 12 million people the chance to have health care, which is a lot of people in the United States. <laughs> yes? Okay, so... You say that Obamacare has given a lot of people health care, mm -hmm. but it says that there has been hundreds of thousands of cancellations done on Obamacare, and that about a quarter of the people say that it has actually hurt them personally because they couldn't, like, they couldn't get health care because of, like, no, they were satisfied, satisfied with their plan, but they couldn't, like, but it got canceled for them. Like, they couldn't get health care. Well, that's just because they didn't qualify for it. It's only for the people who really, really can't afford health care. Okay, thank you. Okay, so my group decided that Obama has most likely probably not um, made a good impression on the United States and he's not going to leave a good mark. Um, 
One, t one thing that I want to talk about is the um, debt that this country is in and the GDP, which stands for Gross Domestic Product. Um, when Bill Clinton left office, it was $12 trillion in debt. And in 2009, when Obama was president, yes, there was presidents after Clinton, but when Obama was, it was president in 2009, it was already $14 trillion. And it's still growing by the day. Not at the moment. Um, so this is not a very good thing for our country because he can, since the debt is so high, we can't really do much <coughs> with what we already have. So like recently, there's just been a new school being built, and it's already taken them this long to get one in, and it's still... What does building schools have to do with the debt that we're in? Because you have to pay money for the schools to be built. So well, the schools that are being built are for the education of people, and that's not putting us in debt. That's helping us for the future. But you still have to pay money for it. Which we're paying with our taxpayer money. Building schools aren't, isn't putting us in debt, because they can't build a school without the money, so they're not going into debt. Okay, thank you. Um, another thing I want to talk about is how Obama's trying to put gun control into play. Um, the Constitution states that um, it is the right of the people to keep and bear arms and not to be infringed. So, not the moment. So, this is a really big issue because for ever since the um, Constitution was even signed, um, we have had the right to own and bear arms. So, and him trying to take this away from us is not, it's just not a good thing for our country. Not at the moment. Um, and finally, I want to talk about immigration rates. Yes? Um, I just want to uh, go off the gun control. It might be unconstitutional, but wouldn't you think it would be considerable to do, considering all the, like, the gun shootings that have been going on in about the past year or two? Well, yes, but at the same time, it's, it's taking away our right. So, and yes, there are shootings or whatever, but that's not really, you know. Yes? But our right... Okay, but our right isn't just to bear arms. So our right is to bear arms, but it isn't to bear arms to kill people without reason. <laughs> I mean, um, so for immigration, um, the removals rates have gone up um, since Bush left office and Obama took office, and the return rates have gone extremely down. So it really affects the country because that means that not a lot of immigrants are coming in and more are coming out. So it's a bigger problem than, yes. Immigration is how everybody in the United States came to the United States. The United States was built on immigration. So I don't understand how you're saying it. it was a bad thing because immigration has built this nation. It's a bad thing that they're that the immigration rates have gone down. So if you're saying that they have built the nation, then how is them going down going to be a good thing? They've actually gone up, which is why people are getting mad, because they want to restrict it. But it shouldn't be restricted, because that's what, that's how everybody got here, and that's how it should continue to be. Okay, thank you. All right, that's the end for speaker one. Thank you. Uh, if you would, uh,